Hello, YouTube. This is Bill. Uh, this is my second YouTube video. I was pretty happy with the responses and the views I got with the first video. A couple of people asked me, how did I run that sub two subwoofer, which is a thousand watts wirelessly? So um, that's what this video is all about. I started on this journey looking for wireless sound sound. I guess it was back when I um, got headphones and the iPod there, you, the iPhone you see there, a lot of people have that. And again, that was, I guess it all started with the, the cassette player that you walked around with the Walkman. I wasn't, I never got one of those, but this was the first thing I got. After that, I purchased this um, UV mini boom. And I, I really, I love that little thing. You can throw it in a backpack. And again, you don't need headphones and you can, that was the first unit I was able to play music without being cooped up with headphones. And I still use it. It's a great little unit. I, after that, I graduated to the little JBL Extreme. Again, uh, a little bigger, a little bigger sound. And I don't use that so much because of the, the systems I have now. So what I have now and this, the system I'm running is this QSC CP8, $400 and a thousand watts, and I can't I recommend it enough. So again, the little unit you see on the floor, let me come over here. It's called um, Butins. Butins, I bought it on Amazon, and it's, I believe, 150 watts it can handle. And it runs the CP8 beautifully. Okay, so right now my connection is I have the CP8. Now, unfortunately, on the Butins, it only has one AC triple pronged input. So I'm going to be running two items through it. So I'm using a little power strip. And it doesn't affect anything. Actually, I've even run a, a, a mixer with the Butins and the CP8 and this drum pad that I use. I'm a drummer and I'm able to now play drums wirelessly out of the house and it's a lot of fun. So let me just give you a little demonstration. This is a Roland Hand Sonic, but you can also play it with sticks. So let me just show you the power of this CP8. Again, indoors through no wire connected. Okay. So, yeah, I'm the guy at the drum circle. The guy to the left of me is playing the tambourine. The guy to the right of me is playing a bongo. And I got the full orchestra timpanis set up. Not really. Anyway, so that's a pretty impressive system. The CP8 is, is incredible. Now, I do have the next unit up, the K8.2. Uh, and this, this little unit will not run it. Okay, I tried and it's just not enough juice. So, by the way, I do want to give a credit to the guy that turned me on to this, and that was uh, Jonesfield45 on the Acoustic Forum. And he, he's the first one who gave me the idea of using a little Butin's power supply to run a, a very powerful speaker. This is a thousand watt speaker. Okay, so let me move on to the next, the big, the big brother here. And this is the unit I just got. This is um, Bose S1 Pro. And again, if you're interested in this, I have another video before this. You should check it out. And the little blue light on the Bose there, that's running on its own battery. So that's not running on my power. It's separate. I do have a cable connected to the new Bose S uh, Sub 2. And here is the power pack that's running it. It is called Expert Power Alpha 400. 
Okay, let me just give you a little sound demo first. And again, nothing is, let me just show you. I'm going behind the speaker. And if you look at the wall, there's, there's no power outlet. So the only power I got is this Expert Alpha 400. Okay. And again, that's a thousand watt subwoofer that it's running. I'm playing in a home situation here, and I do want to say it's a fairly big space. Big ceilings, high ceilings, cathedral ceilings. Okay, and let's see how that duo fills this space. Again, this time I'm running only one Bose S1 Pro. Last time I ran in stereo. I think this is the way a lot of people want to go. Just a quick pick pickup system, quick out the door, throw in your car, and you got it. So here we go, a sound demo. pretty good here that was about 97 db it could have gone a lot louder and again that bass sounds sounds awesome and uh it's all being run battery power so let me give you a little summary or some statistics here going back to the alpha i'm sorry the x the um butens the little butens here okay again purchased on amazon i'll give you the link it's 150 watts, and again, I'm not an electrician, so these, these are the numbers, 52,000 mAh, whatever that means, but that's a power, power um, measurement. And it's, it's a modified sine wave, which is not the best, but it's, I believe it's good enough to protect expensive electronics like this. It could be charged 2,000 times, which is incredible, most um, power plants, Power sources can't do that, but it has a special lithium ion battery, again, which I'm not too sure about all the details. It's only five pounds. So this is, this. you can throw this in a backpack. It's just wonderful. And the price, $146 on Amazon. Okay. It's, you can charge it solar, solar power. Okay. So I, I love it. Next, the unit is, again, the big brother, different company, and that is Expert Power. Again, I purchased on Amazon, and it's called the Power, Expert Power Alpha 400, 400 watts. And that is 120,000 mAh. Again, compared to 52,000 of the other unit. This one is pure sine wave, which is the best protection for, again, expensive electronics. One of the great things about this, I haven't mentioned about either of the units, they're, they're silent, dead silent. And again, in the old days, people would buy generators, uh, you would deal with gasoline, and they were noisy. So again, as a musician, I don't, I don't want to add any noise. And just talking about musicians, audiophiles, they'll spend hundreds of dollars buying a separate power conditioner because I guess they can hear noise from the, the wall. I can't hear it. But again, these things are zero noise because you're not dealing with noise generator from, from, the, um, from the wall. Okay, this is 11 pounds. It's built like a tank. It's, it's made of pretty heavy duty aluminum. I've had it for over a year and a half. It just never fails. And the price, here we go, not cheap. And it's $390, okay. And what I really like about it, for another $200, so a total, I paid a total of 580, you get this you get a um, solar panel, and it's great. I just put this in the backyard a couple of hours, and it's all charged up. By the way, the, the butens also connect to the solar pal panel. It's called a sun power, and be careful of what you get out there. Some of these 
solar panels, they sell you as a package, come as like a fold up in a suitcase, but they're heavy metal and this, this thing is just in, incredibly light. It's four and a half pounds and it bends, it folds, it's, you can carry it with one hand. So I carry this in one hand and the, and the expert power in the other. I, I put it in the backyard, come back in a couple of hours, it's all charged up, okay? Someone asked me how long uh, would, would that last with the, with the subwoofer, sub two. I just got the sub two. I haven't really tested it, but I believe uh, the last time I did play it, it was about 45 minutes to an hour and it only went down one bar. So what I'm talking about is, is right here, the power meters, uh, there's five bars. And so I'm, I'm thinking if you play a, a gig of an hour or so or two hours at full volume, you're probably gonna use two bars, which is just great. Okay, so that's, that's the setup and I'm very excited. I'm thinking if this, I haven't tried it, but my next video would be, could this, this power plant, plant, the Alpha 400, could that run the whole system, the Pro 32, which is 480 watts, plus the Sub 2, which is 1,000, so could it run 1480 watts? I don't know. All I know is it doesn't have unlimited power. I read some, some, some details on the web today, and it said it, can it could max out at 1,000 pounds, the po power unit. After that, it'll shut down, and it's not good for the battery. Before I read that a couple of months ago, I did try it on a microwave and it shut down immediately. So it just, it won't run anything. But again, it's something great to have in your house for safety reasons. It, it charges your laptops, your, your phones endless, endlessly. I have the Butins next to my, in my bedroom and I charge my phone all day long. It, it, it lasts for weeks, okay? So anyway, uh, I, I think my search for wireless power is pretty much over. Um, I'm the guy that go, I like to go to the park and set up this system and it almost sounds like my home home hi-fi it just sounds incredible outdoors anyway any more questions please comment and subscribe and i'm hoping you enjoy this video thank you